This conference will now be recorded. In last meeting, we discussed about uh, data source methods, right? Validate, write, validate, delete, and uh, delete method. And as well as the write method also we discussed. Uh, coming to the next uh, concept. Um, now, I'm going to tell you about data source field methods. <clears throat> when it comes to the data source field, every field having their own methods. See, here, if you go to the override, you can see the methods. Uh, according to your requirement, you need to choose the method and uh, you need to write the code. Okay, mostly in data source field methods, we will use like a validate method and a modified method. These are the methods which is related to fu functionality. For example, if we modify the value in the address, so this method will trigger. Suppose if you want to validate the value is which is there in the particular column, so we need to write a validate method. Modified and validated. Mostly 95% of the requirements we will done with this particular two methods, modified and validate. Every every method, like for example, if you go to the A's, you can see the same methods, list, validate, and modified. Okay, let's make some changes in the A's related. I'm going to override uh, both methods, validate and modified. First of all, let me take validate method. Uh, now we are in a data field A's, data field A's, and uh, we are validating, we are validating the A's column. So when this method will trigger, what is the difference between validate method and validate write method? Already yesterday we discussed about validate write. This method works like when we are trying to save the record, especially when you hit the save button, then only this validate write method will execute right but validate method immediately when you place the value and when we are moving to the next field immediately validate method will be execute no need to wait until to save the record validate right will execute when we are trying to save the record but this validate method will be execute immediately for example, you just placed a value in the A's and when we are moving to the next field, when the when the value, when the value has placed in the cell or column, that immediately validate method will execute. Here, there is a slight difference of uh, writing code in validate write method and write method. I can write the same piece of code here also. Let me copy the code and I'm pasting in the same validate method itself. But execution time will be the difference, that's it. The business logic will work in both places. In validate write method also will work, in validate method also will work, but there is a slight difference of execution time. It depends on your requirement, you can choose validate method or validate write method. Okay, let's do one thing, let's comment Let's comment in the A uh, validate method. I'm commenting here in validate validate write method. I'm commenting the code, and only the code is available in validate method. Okay, validate method. Now let's build the project. Synchronization is not required. Build the project and uh, let's execute the form. We'll see when this method will execute. Okay, build process completed. Already this form has selected as a startup object. I'm executing.
okay <clears throat> let me place the value for example uh, let me edit the record here there is a 27 value i'm just giving okay okay let me create a new record okay i'm giving 15 and i'm when i'm moving to the next field see we are getting error okay so that is about validate method when it comes to the modified method when it comes to the modified method modified method will execute when the when the value completely modified in the cell i mean when the system accepts the value when the system accepts the value so system will call the modified method okay in this place in this a's field again i'm taking modified method okay here i'm writing a piece of code just for your understanding purpose i'm writing value modified okay let's observe the difference <clears throat> i'm executing the form again in A's field, we have modified method and validate method also available. Now, just a second. suppose uh, the same operation we will do create a new record i'm entering the value like 15 i'm just uh, using my tab control to move the next field see only the validate method is triggering why modified method is not calling here the a is value 15 the A's value 15 has not taken still. See, when you place your cursor, last valid value zero and current value 15, but the value has not changed. Value not modified. If the value has taken by system, accepted by system, then only the modified method will execute. Got my point? For example, here I'm giving 25. Okay, see, 25 is accepting. When the value accepted by the system or this particular column, the value so that system will call the modified method. You need to understand the execution time of validate method and the modified method. So, Arjun, here you mean uh, if the value is correct, uh, then only it will execute? Yes, I mean accepted by the system. Here, previously, system is not accepting the 15. Okay, let me see here. For example, I'm giving 12. See, previous value is 25 and the current value is 12. Value accepted or not here? Not accepted, right? Still, okay. it is in the buffer. So that only validate method is triggering. Suppose if you are giving correct value, system will allow that value into the cell so that value will be value already modified, then modified method will execute. Okay, how we will use this well modified method effectively or uh, something like uh, in real time, I'll, I'll tell you that. Just a second. Okay, now let me delete this record. Okay. 
what it is happening. Okay, for example, uh, So I'm going to tell you about modified method right now. Here, modified method. For example, if the value, uh, for example, here, I'm selecting the checkbox. Previously, we have written some piece of code. Did you remember that? For example, in this record, the status is zero. So that's what a personal information button is disabling. When you come to this record, it is enabling. When you come to this record, it is disabling. This piece of code for this kind of requirement, we have written in active method. Active. Did you know? Yeah, active method. Yeah, active method. So when we are selecting a comma, So we are we have written the piece of code in active method, right? Now my requirement is, for example, I just came to 103 record and I'm modifying the status. See, it is modified. Am I right? Value has taken. When the when the field when the value has modified, when the value is one, this button should be enabled. When it is zero it should be disabled i mean when i click on checkbox if it is yes it should be enabled now it should be disabled it should be enabled it should be disabled like this got my point previously we have written this code like when you are changing when the focus is applying on a particular record like this this piece of code we have written in active method simply copy that same piece of code and paste it in status field modified method that will work definitely guys just a moment just a moment i'll come Guys, did you uh, did you understood my requirement? See, it is modified, right? Right now, right now the current value in the status in the current record is zero. Now I am modifying with one. Now this button should be enabled. Now it is one. Now I am making zero. It is modified so that so that I am expecting disable functionality in. Uh, sorry disable functionality on uh, personal information button simply just copy the same piece of code which we already written in uh, active method see here this one copy the piece of code and paste it in status field there is a status field methods modified method now we are in data field status and i'm writing the i'm pasting the same piece of code when we are modifying the value on status field if the value is one that button should be enabled or else it should be disabled But the same uh, uh, functionality is working in active method, right? The active method functionality is working like um, when we have written earlier. Uh, the, okay, how how it is executing when we are changing the record? Suppose I am at one zero one record. I am moving to the one zero two. At that time, okay. system is checking. Okay. Yeah. But especially what I am expecting here, when I when I change the value, 
when i change the value in status checkbox my functionality should execute that's what i'm expecting so if, uh, if both of them have the same functionality right so this yes. uh, data field mission field uh, so how do we know which one to use because both of them work in the same way so generally if a requirement comes how do i know like i should be using field field method that or works. database yes method? okay fine i'll tell you that yeah. i'll tell you that here two things i mean two different cases but the code the business logic is the same but this business logic i am writing at two different uh, concepts for example right now my focus is record focus is on 101 record right focus is on 101 record i'm moving to the next next record see it is enabled for example when i come to the third record button control disabled check the here when i come to the fourth record enabled 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 now it is disabled see enabled disabled when the client is expecting like this when the functionality or when the requirement is like this go and write your business logic in active method when the record is active when the record is active i mean when the when the focus applied on a record if you want to do some changes on button controls or something like that write down in active method but especially now i am in 101 record especially i'm going to the status field currently it is disabled because of active method right because of active method personal and information button has disabled now i came to status and i'm checking the checkbox see it is enabled it is now i am making the checkbox zero disabled but focus is on 101 only i'm on 101 only and i'm changing the value on status one enabled zero disabled one enabled zero disabled there are two different cases active method works when the focus applied on a record modified method works when the field value has modified at that moment modified method will work still you did not get my point just ask me i'll tell you i i get i get in this case but i did not like for if validations right it's, the validation is the same thing so why why we should write here we can write we can write both in database and field level right so how would you know how so which is database. the best of data source you are asking data source yeah, yeah data source validations and this one so no no here two things are there hmm. we have modified method and we have validate method yeah. in modified method sorry in validate method only we can write validations yeah because the return type is boolean so that i yeah. can i can write return false return true if my requirement satisfies i will return true if my my requirement is not satisfying i will return false but in modified method i cannot write like that because the return type is wide only if the value modified if the value modified then i will i, I just want to do something and uh, here one more difference is there between validate method and modified method validate method works for calculated fields like integer real date into 64 like that calculated fields mm. but modified method works for string enumerator like that non calculated fields now it when it comes to the status status is non calculated field right mm. so that we are using modified Yes, calculated field, integer, so that we are writing modify, uh, sorry, validate. Yeah. If you have a validation, 
straight away go for validate right method or validate method no 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 that's what i was asking you like the validate right and valid are completely similar right here for active and uh, this field modified field we have some so we have some changes in that but coming to validate and validate right there's mostly similar right so how will you know yeah. which one is right that's my question okay okay that is very straight answer yeah. uh, straight answer that one like see for example you are a client yeah you asked me i am a developer you asked me arjun i will create a record okay if i am giving wrong value for example i am giving 12 when i try to save the record make validation hmm. if you are asking like that i will write in validate right hmm. code okay again if you ask like this for example if i am giving 12 and when i am moving to the next field show my validation immediately okay i don't want to hit the save button show my validation immediately then write in the validate method hmm. validate right will execute when you are after filling all the values in the record finally you will hit the save button right yeah then yeah. validate right method will execute yeah so yeah but more validate method works when you after placing the value anyway you will go to the next field to fill the value date value date field when hmm. you are use tab control at the time automatically your validation will execute if you written in validate method so anyway but validation will done either you written in validate right method either you written in validate validate method in both methods you can perform validation but time execution time will be different execution uh, like uh, scenario here hmm. yeah i get your point yeah. so i think okay. most of the time we'll be using uh, valid uh, valid method right more than valid right um, validate method will execute immediately yeah, yeah. validate method will execute after filling all the values for example okay yeah. that, that is, there is a there is a simple complication is there in validate right method for example i have i have a grid control I have a grid control and I have a general tab. I have so many tabs are there. Let us assume that. Okay, simple, simple scenario. I'm telling you. I have 50 fields in my table. Okay. I mean, I have 50 fields in my form. I will fill all the values. I will fill all the values in all the tab pages. When I finally, I will go to hit the save button. When system shows error you have missed something or you have a validation or you, you did something wrong so that again we need to come back and we need to search the field where we did the mistake again we need to come back and we need to search okay where it is where it is the error where we have missed the value like that for example if we are giving wrong value if the system is showing immediately then we will correct it and we will go forward right yeah that's what that is the case that's it nothing is there but uh, both mo both methods work for validation only but modified method is not like that modified method is a different case validate it see i told you initially when we are discussing about the methods when you override a method first you need to observe the written type that is very important here modified method return type is wide so that we could not return any value we could not return any value but the validate method return type is boolean so that we can return true or we can return false something like that i have a question here arjun now here the modified method i have written like that if i change the value if the value accepted by the system i just want to do something that is my case. Okay, I'll tell you one more example for your understanding purpose. I have a loan table. Okay, let me open the loan form. This is the best example. I'll tell you uh, the modified method functionality here. 
Yes. Yes, you can rattle me. Yeah, sorry. Actually, uh, I, I thought there is some disturbance with, with my mic. Arjun, I had a question here that uh, I was just willing to know that uh, the modified method that you described, does it uh, call after, uh, you know, the row in a particular column or a particular control is modified or after when the save button is actually hit, means the record is actually saved. When does it actually mm -hmm. come into picture? In both cases. Definitely in both cases. For example, okay. uh, suppose I'm creating a record. I have entered some value here. Let us assume that I have entered the value and I will go for save button. I don't want to move to the next field. At that time also modified method will execute because value is changing, right? Currently the value is null. In name column, the currently the value is null and I'm just entering some value and when I'm hitting the save button, definitely if you return something in modified, that modified method will execute. Suppose okay, that, is one, yeah, that is okay. one case. Suppose oh. it now the value is null. I have entered some value and when I'm moving to the next field, next field in the sense, the value already taken by the system here, triple R already taken that at that moment validate method uh, sorry modified method will execute okay uh, value has taken right already all right all right again uh, you know uh, yes, can we have can we have some uh, uh, link you know to uh, to understand for some document to understand actually that which which event is particularly fired at you know uh, means which uh, you know procedure or you know void method or uh, functional th that is of return type method is actually fired uh, for which particular purpose if if any link or any document can, can, can we have something like this to, to understand it better we don't have any document if you want i will take one more class even if you want okay thank you we are not understanding Okay, let's sit, sit one more class. No issues because finally my intention is you people needs to understand the concepts. That is my intention. If I if I take one or two classes, no issues for me. I can I can sit and I can discuss with you. No issues. Whatever your doubts, you just come back with doubts. All the all your doubts, I'll explain you definitely. But in Microsoft uh, sites also, there is no documentation uh, in detail. We need okay. to discuss. In discussion only you will get more knowledge because if you were if you read something theoretically it will take long time or um, you you could not understand finally right because of discussion only you will get something like knowledge okay now let us let us come to the let us come to the uh, modified method okay first of all let me tell you the scenario currently in employee ID, the value is null because it is a string. Why I'm calling null? It is a string field, right? That's what I'm calling null value. Don't say nothing is there. Currently, we have a null value. Now I'm selecting one value like 102. Now the field has modified. The field has modified with 102. At that moment, what I'm expecting whatever the name against 102 that name i need to populate in the name column i mean if i select 102 name has to populate arjun if i select 101 name has to populate abhi like that if i modify the employee id i would like to fetch the name and i need to place in the name column itself that is requirement so this is what our requirement previously so here uh, uh, arjun are we creating a new record or modifying the existing record both in both records it will work either it is a new record or it is an existing record both in both records the functionality will work whatever we are discussing that functionality will work because ultimately we are modifying the employee id either it is a null value either it is a value 
but anyway we are we are placing new value right i mean the value is modifying if the value modified so that what i'm expecting name has to populate in the search name column automatically you got my point here requirement yeah in in previously in status field also we have we did the same thing if you observe something we did the same thing if i check the checkbox button should be enable if i uncheck the checkbox button should be disable we are bringing another control into the picture we are modifying on one control we are expecting a result on another control did you observe that we have modified we have modified the status field and we are expecting enable disable functionality on button control so here we we are bringing another control into the picture here also we did, we are doing same thing we are modifying the employee id and we are expecting the result on name column modified method works like that okay if i modify the if i modify the employee id i need to fetch the name from emp table currently all these records are coming from emp table right all these records are coming from emp table so that if i am selecting 101 I will compare with uh, 101 record in EMP table. If 101 is similar, if there is a 101 in EMP table, I will copy the name and I will paste it in the search name column. Okay. When it when it has to happen, when this functionality has to happen, when I modify the employee ID in loan form, am I right? when i modified the employee id in loan form so i'm just in loan form employee id take the modified method okay now i'm writing piece of code so that we need to access emp table emp loc now select emp loc where emp loc dot emp id equal to equal to emp load table dot emp id if both fields are i mean we are i'm comparing with uh, uh, emp loc employee id okay now emp load table dot name equal to emp loc dot name that's it I have written in modified method okay let's build the project uh, uh, we have not uh, uh, so Arjun, in this statement here we have not written validation if it is equal then uh, execute uh, do the assignment no we we will not write any validation in the modified method modified method in modified method we will not write any validation for validation we have a mod validate method is there separate method no i'm asking here uh, when a select a statement will execute right so after mm. that do we need to write uh, if else condition um, why if else condition is required here we don't have uh, multiple values right only one value is there here i'm selecting i'm selecting a record in emp table whatever the value i'm selecting in the <coughs> employee id in loan table in employee loan okay, table got it. Got it. value right yeah if it is correct it means fetch the record only then assignment will no, we, we need to select that record only in in low in emp table uh -huh. okay, in case if uh, in case if uh, the record is not found in emp table right mm. okay. then uh, assignment will not work right yeah yeah that's what same, but, same, but same. there will be some error no here if the value is not available okay i'll tell you right. that one i'll tell you that one also 
so you are expecting if condition here because if the value is not available in the parent table for example so system will not accept that right in the, in loan form that value no need to write if condition system will raise the error in that loan table itself loan form itself no need to write uh, if, if else condition or uh, any validation code but not required really system automatically validated the value so doesn't it throw any error yes it will throw error definitely i'll show you that so how will uh, handle that <laughs> already there is a relation right already there is a relation in between emp table and loan table so that in that case error, error will throw if the value is not available see most of the things no need to do anything already the system is system will do that simply we will write uh, uh, like a plain plain code that's it i'll show you that i'll show you that here two cases you are asking if the value is available so we will get the value we will get the name from emp table okay let's create a new record okay i'm selecting 103 name kavita placing right i'm selecting 101 abi i'm selecting 102 arjun okay now uh, uh sanjay i'm entering e110 110 is not available even though i'm typing yeah. When I'm moving to the next field, error. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Uh, Arjun, this this error is system default error or you know we yes. we have yes. system default okay. error. System default so in error. Can do we have, can we handle this error if it is system no. defined? No, 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 not possible because it is it is coming because of relation relation concept no no because my question is my question is here if in if this error uh, will appear right then uh, there should be some message means customized message should uh, display to the user stating that the employee id that the entry is invalid please enter the correct means some okay. customized okay. message you are, slow. you are expecting your custom message to the end user right right in no. case of error okay i'll tell you that see here first of all you are thinking very far and uh, here just let me let me tell you something here actually here actually only you will select whatever the values in their list in the drop down right if the value is not available how you will select the value 110 is not available how you will select the value of course you, you you are typing manually for example 110 the system is filtering value is not there then definitely you will stop your work here because value is not there 110 is not available in the main table so end user will know that okay value 110 is not available in the main table so system uh, end user will will already understand no need to show a custom message anyway he is typing blindly and he is behaving rudely and uh, uh, i want 110 okay let us go to the next field system will throw that the 110 is not found in the related table emp table no need to custom validation in this case because the system is handling already why we need to take extra burden on the system that is what my point yes arjun uh, in this oh. case i think uh, uh, the search name should be blank if i am typing 110 the search oh. name should be sent to blank because if see suppose already if the value is already there for example let me let me delete for example here one 
so for example, one one zero four record is there. Let us assume that. Okay, I'm again. I'm doing one one zero. I'm pressing tab control. I'm pressing tab control, and uh, you you are telling that remove the summa value and you need to place empty right null value. You are expecting right. that. For suppose yeah. if if it is placing like that. If it is, we are placing empty value. The end user will enter the wrong record, wrong values. For example, he, intentionally he would like to change the value. Uh, uh, not intentionally. Suppose, unfortunately, unfortunately he entered some wrong value, but the correct value is already there. If we are removing the value. Again, he don't he he will forget. He will forget whatever the value is there previously. Actually, uh, sir, sir, uh, actually, search name should be a disabled field. I think so. Yes, that's what search name. We will make it in disable. That we will do that. No problem. Very simple. Very simple formula. Just go to the table fields and select the select the field and make it disable in the table properties. Or in the form properties, also you can make it disable. Here, what what it is showing? The value one one zero in field is not last value one zero four. See, system is showing that last value one zero four. So again, we will come back and we will we will give that one zero four value. Okay, fine. So for your satisfaction purpose, I will write some if condition here. Okay. If um, if the value no, no, selected, not just uh, I mean whatever the best practice okay, is there. Let's, see, be let's see, Sanjay. No problem. Let's see. Let's see. MPLOC dot MPLOC dot record ID. If the record is available, okay. If the record, if the record is available. Okay, I will place. I will place the name. Okay. Mm -hmm. In else condition, if the record is not found, uh, error message record not found. Okay. And uh, how we disable any field? Which, which what um, Support. Okay, fine, no problem. Here, here we will write a disable a disable code also. Uh, directly we will go to the load table. Uh, design. There is a name column, right? Name yeah. column. Okay, from elevate here. Only. Elevate it. Mm -hmm. Elevate it. No. Make it here. Okay. Elevate it. No. Or else you can make it in table level also. In form level, we are making that one and go to the loan table. That will be applicable for all forms. Yes, it will execute. Suppose if you are giving disable, if you are giving disable code functionality for name, wherever the loan table is using in all the forms, name should be in disable mode. So that you need to think whether you want to make it in global, whether you want to make it for a particular form, you just decide and do it. But you have a two options in form level and uh, in table level. According to your requirement, you just make it. Okay. Anyway, I have written some whatever that uh, if else condition. Okay. Okay. We'll see. Okay. You are asking me to make a null value, right? Uh, I think Jitendra asked me. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Somewhat we are deviating uh, the best practice here. I think I'm feeling that we are because if we are removing the value, if we are removing the value of the current value, current record, again we need to. Uh, if you want to select the previous record, really we don't remember. Uh, did you got my point? For example, unfortunately, I'm thinking something and uh, I'm just changing the employee ID. 
so system is removing the name from that column i don't remember okay what is the previous record if the name is there so that i can through that name i can find the employee id okay i will give yeah. again i can yeah, correct my value yeah actually that was a question uh, 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 as long as our uh, error message is proper then then it really doesn't matter at all yes okay fine i'll do one thing here i will make emp load table dot name equal to pass empty string that's it okay it is a string value right that's what i'm passing empty string here like a dot net or java no need to write uh, hundreds of lines code uh, for executing this kind of uh, requirements just simple one or two lines you can finish your work yesterday um, i have a, i have a friend uh, who is working on dot net in company they have a small requirement a very small requirement when when it comes comparing with our our uh, product it is very small requirement just we just what they need to do we need to pop up we need to pop up one window in that window uh, five to six columns are there i mean i need to fill those five to six columns if i click on the save button the record has to show in a grid for that they have written 500 lines of code in dot net here <laughs> very simple <laughs> only five to six lines of code finish it we can finish it in five to six lines of code they have written store processors they have uh, work with the ajax controls and uh, uh, and so many so many join statements they have written <laughs> really very complicated when it comes comes to the, this particular requirement okay fine um okay let's 102 placing arjun for example e 110 i'm making tab first it is showing only the like a uh, system system default message the else condition is not working here <laughs> even the if, cond if condition is working but else condition is not working right so no need to write uh, uh, validation if the value is not found do something like that because this condition is not required already system is handling um suppose okay fine in most of the i mean if the requirement is different if the value if the record is selected i just want to make some changes in the current record then you can make it uh, like uh, by writing piece of pieces of code here okay here also in previous requirement we are also working on uh, uh, two controls suppose if i modify the checkbox button control is enabling disabling there are two controls here also two controls when i am modifying the employee id we are fetching the name and populating on the name column itself here also two controls but when it comes to the validate only we will work with the self control <coughs> for example a's column is there 
I will think only for each column. I don't want to think for another column. I will not work on another column. Date control. I will think only, I will write code only for date column. Invalidate method. But in modified method, if I modify this value, I need to, I need to change, I need to make some reflections on another column. The business logic would be like that in modified field, in modified method. Here, we will not write any validation kind of code. If you modify something, if you are expecting something on in another column, you can make it here. If it is clear, then tell me. Uh, something. rate of interest 3 20,000 just do one thing you guys just create two more columns in this particular table one is number of months I mean loan number of months for example at 12 months I just want to calculate per, per month EMI when I place when I place the value of amount I just I just want to calculate EMI value so I need extra two columns in this table one is number of months tenure or EMI right sorry so tenure means number of months a tenure exactly tenure. take a field of tenure that is uh, integer integer column and uh, EMI a real value because the point values also will come right so just we need to calculate after placing the amount value so we need to write that code in amount field modified even though even though it is a calculated field we will write modified method we need to write business logic in amount field modified and also we will write the same piece of code in rate of interest also and also we need to write the same uh, code in tenure field also so we need to write the same piece of code in three columns for example i have given 20000 so that emi should calculate for example after giving the amount if i change the rate of interest then after that only at that moment only at that moment i need to again i need to calculate the emi suppose if i change the month at that moment also, I need to calculate the EMI. So we need to write the same piece of code in three fields modified method. Same piece of code. Maybe I will change the value uh, amount. Maybe I will change the value rate of interest. Maybe I will change the value tenure. Whatever I change, my EMI should be calculated. So we need to write amount field modified method same piece of code uh, rate of interest field modified method same piece of code and uh, what is that tenure in tenure also we need to write the same piece of code okay guys uh, we'll see tomorrow the remaining concepts